With Valentine's Day just about two weeks away, did you know Americans are planning to spend a whopping $25.9 billion on Valentine's Day this year? That's up from last year, according to an annual survey from the National Retail Federation. And it seems like millennials are the most romantic, apparently, spending on average $336, followed by those between 25 to 34 years old who spend an average of $238. And for everyone else, like you and me, we're going to spend an average of $190. Bucks. So we wanted to give you some ideas on how to celebrate the day without breaking the bank. On this Money Saving Monday, consumer expert Courtney Cowan Gray is joining me now. Okay, let's get right to it. First of all, you say you need to communicate on how much you're going to spend. But I'm wondering, does that kind of take away the... The surprise. The <laughs> yeah, no, you don't have to say what you're going to be spending the money on. Okay. But if you set a budget, it kind of keeps expectations in line. Yeah. You don't want to be one of the people that spends $400 and then all of a sudden your husband is spending $100. Yes. Expectations can kind of help set the stage to have a good Valentine's Day. Okay, okay. And just when you thought it was just for old married couples. All right, first of all, we are going to tackle this on and we're going to do some affordable Valentine's Day's ideas, starting with why not do a homemade meal? I love homemade meals. Some people like to go out, but this is like making something homemade is so nice right. and cheap. My husband, when we were just dating, he decided for Valentine's Day that he was going to cook me dinner. It mm -hmm. was one of the sweetest things. He is yeah. not the best cook at all, but at the same point. That's what makes it even sweeter, right? right? It was it's so a pot. sweet. He yes. went above, you know, and did something that he wasn't comfortable doing, and it meant so much to me. Um, I've done things for him, like he loves bacon wrapped dates. So I make Ooh. these bacon wrapped dates roses. So creative, yeah. So I know it's something that's special to him and mm -hmm. something that's a little bit different than regular roses. And if you had smell a vision, you would want to eat these too. Okay, you also say make handmade cards. I love that from my kids. I wouldn't mind it from my husband, but when I think of handmade, I think the kiddos. Well, you can also have your kids make the cards too. Yeah. So say, what do you see? How do you know that daddy loves me? Mm. And get some ideas from them and have them make a card about that. Because, right, you just said, oh, so sweet. So sweet. I know. It's always the yes. thought. Okay, I love this. Plants instead of roses. Everyone wants to give roses, right? Yes, they do. But plants, orchids are beautiful, but even normal yes. plants. And they last longer. They last forever. So. Yes, yes. And then uh, a DIY candy basket. Like right. That. You know, you can get the nice chocolates, everything like that. They're pretty expensive, but if you kind of go to either Walgreens or Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. pull the gummies, pick your pull own. some, yeah, pull, pick your own and create a basket. You're big on that. I, I am. Like that. It's very, very, you know, thoughtful. Okay, so let's talk about gifts. There's a lot of handmade gift ideas that you have. Candle making. I never thought of that. There are stores around town. You can make your own soap, your own lotion. Um, you can make your own candles and you come up with things that remind you of your husband. Oh, gosh, that smells really good. Things that you made that? Have. Yes. Uh-huh. Wow. Yep. Okay, that gives me an idea. Yeah. All right. Um, Hand-painted pottery. We've seen that before. A homemade coupon book. Right. Love. Right. 15-minute massages. I'll do the dishes one day. Something that you know that's normal. Laundry. Right. Laundry. <laughs> I'll take out the trash. Yes. You know, things like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> I heard a chuckle from Al in production over here. Okay. A poem or letter. That is old school, Courtney. It is. It's super sweet. I will give a little tip. There's mm -hmm. a thing called chat GPT if you oh haven't gosh, heard of it All the yet. rage. Right. Yes. So you can throw something in, some things that are specific. Have it help you out a little bit. Nice. And then you say a mixtape playlist, speaking of old school. Speaking of old well, school. Well, nowadays it's Spotify, isn't it? Like something like that, you know, it's right. not really a Right, or tape. an Apple Music playlist. Something <laughs> yeah. just thoughtful is really the biggest thing. Okay, I love that. Let's talk about ideas for an experience. It's okay to look at Groupon. Oh, right? of course. Yeah. Of course. Look at Groupon. Look at picnics. Doesn't have to be a fancy dinner, but yeah. look at something that you enjoy doing, taking time out of your day and going on a hike. Mm -hmm. Something that you kind of set some time aside and give each other the full attention and make that a special moment. Which is rare when you got kids. It is. Yes, yeah. no kidding. Okay, revisit the first date. Uh, Tell me more. Uh, yes, <laughs> well think about the first place that you met or your first date Aww. and set that up. It's really pulling at the heartstrings. So. That is such a great idea. And then you also say even game night and a last minute VRBO. Right. You sparked a future segment idea for me. Okay, so you can really get like last minute deals on VRBO? And you can, especially within a week or a couple days. Just check and see what's available. Um, we have tons of vacation rentals out here. So yes. check with that. Normally you can strike up a deal if they're going to get zero dollars or they can get yeah. Yeah. discounted price from you. So. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay, Courtney, thank you so very much.